What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today I've got another NBA video to be going over with you guys in today's video I'm actually going to be looking at the five superstar oh, superstars rather the Golden State Warriors should potentially target this summer this is an article by fadeaway world that I thought would be a a pretty interesting thing to kind of go over and to see how it all, of course, does go. Uh, before we get into Pascal Siakam, they say the Golden State Warriors are in a state of turmoil currently. A uh, team with a prime Stephen Curry should be fighting to be in, or shouldn't be fighting to be in the play in tournament. While Clay Thompson is an important player who is still out with injury, his return alone won't fix the Golden State Warriors roster issues. Perhaps the Golden State Warriors could elect to make a trade this offseason. A few seasons ago, they had the best super team in the league, and perhaps the way that they would, could improve their roster was by adding another or adding a star player to their core after the season is over. Here are some superstars that the Golden State Warriors could trade for this upcoming offseason. Number 5, Pascal Siakam. The Golden State Warriors would receive Pascal Siakam. The Toronto Raptors would receive uh, you know, they would receive Kali Uber on a sign trade, James Wiseman, Eric Pascal, and Jordan Poole. Ooh, that's a very bad trade if you're a Toronto Raptors fan. Even the Warriors, like, Pascal Siakam just doesn't really work for their team. Like, in my opinion, they need a, a, a new center, and you can't have Pascal Siakam being your new center. He's not a great interior defender. I guess you could have Draymond, but he's still a little small. So, I don't know, dude. And I just don't feel like you get enough. Like, I know James Wiseman's cool and all, but I feel like if you're the Raptors, you want to pick out of Pascal Siakam as well. All right, so moving on now. Oh, well, actually, no, we'll read this. Pascal Siakam would add another shot creator and scorer on the Golden State Warriors. Siakam showed that he could be a number two option behind a superstar on a championship team. And perhaps teaming up with Stephen Curry would get the best out of him. With Steph Curry and Clay Thompson on the court next season, Siakam would have elite spacing for his drives and fit in the Golden State Warriors would be fairly good. Ooh, I just don't like this at all. Like, I'm just one of those guys that don't like Pascal Siakam on this Golden State Warriors team. You know, I just don't agree with it, in my opinion. Oh, wow, these ads are hectic by this website. <laughs> Number four we got is Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, I love Carl Anthony Towns for the Warriors. I think it'd be great. Uh, Golden State Warriors receive Carl Anthony Towns. Minnesota Timberwolves receive Draymond Green. James Wiseman, Eric Pascal, and a future first round pick. All right, I love Carl Anthony Towns for the Warriors, but they're not going to be trading Draymond Green. That's the first thing. They're not trading Draymond Green at all. Second thing is, they're going to try and do a sign and trade of Kali Ubre. I guarantee it. They will offer him $20 million a year. Then you got James Wiseman. He's $10 million a year. Eric Pascal was on about $2 million. That's $32 million. That basically matches the contract for Carl Anthony Towns. Those are the three players they'll put in there. And then, of course, it'll be pick 7, pick 14, and whatever else the Minnesota Timberwolves want. It's pretty standard, and that's what will happen if a trade will go down. But considering it looks like they want to experiment with having D'Angelo Russell and Cat for another season, I could see them keeping Cat, and I don't think it will happen. But they're going to say that Carl Anthony Towns is one of the NBA's uh, premier or premier centers. The Minnesota Timberwolves have failed to surround Towns with a contending roster in recent years, and they have only made that one playoff appearance with him. Carl Anthony Towns could thus request a trade. Uh, to another franchise like the Warriors, the package of Towns could certainly be centered around James Wiseman, and perhaps playing on a rebu uh, rebuilding team would give Wiseman the chance to develop. Draymond Green would be the salary matching contract. No, they could literally do that with Kali Oubre. While Eric Pascal and his future first round pick solid assets for the future. This would set the Timberwolves with a solid core for the future. Nope. Not happening. Stupid trade. Don't like it. But I do like, of course, Cat for the team. Uh, and then, you know, I guess they go on to say a little bit more. On the Golden State Warriors, Carl Anthony Towns would have the opportunity to play with Stephen Curry. The Warriors have lacked a dominant center this season with a trade from uh, four towns. The Warriors could get or would get a superstar at the center position and be able to compete in the stacked Western Conference. Towns can space the floor, but also bully people in the post like a traditional center. Towns' versatility would be useful next to Stephen Curry, uh, and he would be a great scorer and rebounder for the Warriors. Very good point. Number three, Paul George. Uh, Los Angeles Clippers receive Andrew Wiggins, Eric Pascal, Jordan Poole, and a future first. Is that it? 
Bro, they traded away like six future first round picks, SGA, Danilo Gallinari for Paul George. They're going to want a lot more than that. It would be like James Wiseman, Andrew Wiggins, four first round picks, John Ball and Eric Pascal. And they've only got one future first round pick. They completely left out James Wiseman and three future first round picks. That is a ridiculous trade. I don't even want to talk about how stupid that trade is. But it says Paul George is one of the perimeter two-way wing players in the league. While the Los Angeles Clippers are contenders this season, they could still elect to make moves if the current roster falls short this season. Paul George could be a player that gets moved. The Warriors could entice the Los Angeles Clippers with a package centered around Andrew Wiggins, who is a great two-way player who can contribute on both ends. Wiggins has had a career year from beyond the arc with the Golden State Warriors shooting 40% from three-point range. All while playing elite defense, Eric Pascal would be a solid option at the power four position, while John Paul is a young guard with a lot of promise. The future first round pick will be great assets for the future. And it's a stupid, stupid trade. I mean, look at PG in the playoffs. He didn't even have Kawhi and he led them to the conference finals. So bad. What a terrible trade. On the Golden State Warriors, Paul George could team up with Stephen Curry and try to win a championship. Paul George is a wing player that can do everything on the court. Uh, George can create his shot from anywhere and would be an amazing perimeter option. If Clay Thompson needs some time to get back to an all-NBA level, uh, then jo Paul George could potentially carry the scoring load alongside Steph Curry. This trade would let Paul George and the Warriors compete for a championship, while the, which is the goal for both sides. Wow. Number two, Bradley Beal. Washington Wizards receive Andrew Wiggins, James Wise, and Eric Pascal, a future first-round pick and a future second-round pick. That's a better trade, although I think you'd need to add in a first, but something like that could definitely get done. James Wiseman was a very good young player. Andrew Wiggins is a very good role player. Uh, and a first round pick and a future second and maybe another future first is really nice. I don't know, I don't mind that trade, but I don't know if you really go out and get Bradley Beal if you're the, you're the Golden State Warriors. But they say, Bradley Beal is currently the lead, leading scorer, averaging 31.3 points per game. Despite Bradley Beal scoring heroics, the Washington Wizards are currently stuck near the bottom of the Eastern Conference. If Bradley Beal were to request a trade this summer, then perhaps the Golden State Warriors could get in the mix. Uh, Andrew Wiggins would certainly be included in this offer, as well as the young prospects for James Wiseman and Eric Pascal. The Washington Wizards could also demand a fair amount of draft compensation for Beal, so the deal includes both a future first round pick and a future second. This deal would set Washington Wizards up with a solid call for the future. They'd also have to throw and pick seven. Like, they're not, Wizards aren't doing it unless I get seven as well. Uh, and yeah, maybe even 14. Bradley Deal would supercharge the scoring on the Golden State Warriors. Bradley Bill and Stephen Curry both command a ridiculous amount of defensive attention, and adding Clay Thompson to the mix in the future it could be deadly. Bradley Beal going to the Golden State Warriors would give him a team that could potentially win a championship and allow him to play with a superstar who is one of the highest level. Very true. The trade isn't that bad. It's probably one of the best we've seen so far. At number one, Damian Lillard. I don't mind Damian Lillard for this Warriors team because he is from Oakland and having a team of like Lillard, Steph Curry and Clay, although defense would be pretty bad, would be a very nice team. Alright, Warriors receive Damian Lillard, Portland receive Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, Eric Pascal, two, two future first round picks. Hmm. Okay, so let's put this into perspective here. If James, if, you know, James Harden was Victor Oladipo, couple role plays, four future first round picks, uh, four pick swaps, and he had a lot of health issues at the time, you know, with hamstrings, all this stuff being a little bit overweight, Still hasn't recovered from those things. If he was worth that much, Damian Lillard is worth more than Andrew Wiggins, Wiseman, Pascal, and two future first round picks. You'd have to throw on pick seven and pick 14 on there as well. I guarantee the Trailblazers aren't doing this deal unless they get that. Damian Lillard is a loyal player, but could he eventually decide that he wants to win a championship and ask for a trade from the Portland Trailblazers? Uh, in that inevitable in eventuality rather, I don't know what happened there, the Golden State Warriors have to at least take a shot to try and acquire Damian Lillard. The package would be considered around Golden State's top young players, Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, and Eric Pascal. Eric Pascal and Wiggins aren't that young though, like Pascal is like 24, Wiggins is like 25, you know what I mean? Damian Lillard is a franchise favourite in Portland. They wouldn't give up him for peanuts, meaning that the Warriors would have to pay up. Again, you just admitted this. Like, the Warriors wouldn't, you know, get him for peanuts. Like, the Trailblazers wouldn't give him up for peanuts, and they're going to want more than this. They're going to want pick 7 and 14 as well. <sighs> I don't even know, dude. Uh, this is a fair trade. No, it's not. 
definitely the the Warriors would 100% win this trade. Damian Lillard and Stephen Curry would be deadly together. They are the best long range shooters in the NBA and can score from just a few steps in from half court. The spacing on the Golden State Warriors would be an elite tier, especially considering the fact that Clay Thompson would be back. While their backcourt might struggle on the defensive end, the outside could potentially be worth it. It might be fun seeing Damian Lillard on the Golden State Warriors and having two superstar scorers uh, is never a losing proposition. So yeah, very, very interesting. Um, I don't mind this at all. It's a lot of weird trades, but I thought, you know what, let's just make a video on this. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash long channels. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below. Uh, but that's all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.